You talk trash about your buddies that aren't with you. He knows he may not see some of his buddies again. You walk down the beach staring at all the pretty girls. He patrols the streets, searching for insurgents and terrorists. You complain about how hot it is. He wears his heavy gear, not daring to take off his helmet to wipe his brow. You go out to lunch and complain because the restaurant got your wrong order. He doesn't get to eat today. Your maid makes your bed and washes your clothes. He wears the same things for weeks but makes sure his weapons are clean. You go to the mall and get your hair redone. He doesn't have time to brush his teeth today. You are angry because your class ran five minutes over. He's told he'll be held over an extra two months. You call your girlfriend and set a date for tonight. He waits for the mail to see if there is a letter from home. You hug and kiss your girlfriend like you do every day. He holds his letter close and smells his love's perfume. You roll your eyes as a baby cries. He gets a letter with pictures of his new child and wonders if they'll ever meet. You criticize your government and say that war never solves anything. He sees the innocent tortured and killed by their own people and remembers why he is fighting. You hear the jokes about the war and make fun of men like him. He hears the gunfire, bombs and screams of the wounded. You see only what the media wants you to see. He sees the broken bodies lying around him. You are asked to go to the store by your parents. You don't. He does exactly what he is told, even if it puts his life in danger. You stay at home and watch TV. He takes whatever time he is given to call, ride home, sleep, and eat. You crawl into your soft bed with down pillows and get comfortable. He tries to sleep but gets woken by mortars and helicopters all night long. If you support your troops, send this to seven people. Remember, our troops, and do not forget them later, lest we forget, keep the chain going.